Hi everybody, my name is Cook. I'm uh, Cook the Geek, in case you, in case you have forgotten. Um, right now, I'm st you know, I'm still in Oregon. I'm about ready to leave Oregon. I'm kind of on the border, getting ready to go up into Washington. Um, right now, I'm in, uh, this is a little pamphlet thing I have. It's uh, Birds of the Lower Deschutes River. I'm at Deschutes uh, State Park <laughs> right now. <laughs> so you might have noticed I have some some zits. So don't look at those, or or they might you know control your brain. I think they have a life of their own, but that's just part of the life of being a geek. So uh, so I just imagine there's some kind of Borg implant that's slowly uh, assimilating me. Wow, that would be awesome. <laughs> Today. Um, I went to I went to Mickey D's, I went to McDonald's, and I bought a hamburger, and I'm gonna teach you how to improve the hamburger. How to improve a McDonald's <laughs> hamburger. Here I bought my hamburger. Here's uh, my receipt. It was really cheap. My order number was 267, but it only cost me 99 cents. See, there I am, I'm in Oregon. <laughs> so, here's my hamburger. We're going to improve this bad boy. We're going to make it taste much better and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, healthier. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Step number one, you want to remove, uh, you want to remove the buns. We're not going to really use the buns or this this stuff here. We're gonna feed that to the duckies later on. But, so basically we just want our little McDonald's patty. Cause that's the secret of McDonald's, McDonald's' success, is the pate. So you want to take this pate, and uh, you're gonna take it off and save, save this wrapper too. It's very important. Important. Garlic, Brazil nuts. Now I'm just rinsing off my patty. Don't worry, the water doesn't hurt it. And this will also get out some of the nasty grease that McDonald's likes to put in there and makes you all fat. So, here we go. Mmm, fresh parsley. Uh, as you probably know, uh, Parsley is good for your libido. So uh, I'm gonna put some fresh parsley with my uh, Borgified uh, uh, hamburger because I'm gonna improve it. So uh, let's go back to our parsley here. And you wanna use some, some skizzers. Um, and you chop, oops. There it went. So I just chop it there. I don't think I filmed that very well. I'm not very good at this. But once my bride comes from Asia, she can help me. So, whoa! Poor parsley. So, next step is to just chop up this parsley. Okay? It's really difficult because I have to be on my, kind of on my knees or just kind of squat down. But, uh,. So take your fresh parsley that you grew, because this is even better, and then just chop that puppy up. Be careful, don't chop off your fingers, um, because you only have 10 of them, um, and uh, you usually need all 10, especially the pinky. So if the Yakuza ever want you to chop off a finger, don't chop off your pinky, because the pinky is where all your strength is when you grip. So, I mean, do a test. Take your knife, grip it with your pinky, and just feel, you know, the power that you have. Now do it without your pinky. It doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel as, you know, like you're holding it as strong as you could. So don't chop off your pinky. 
That's the wise words of Hook the Geek. Ta -da! You probably noticed when I, uh, you know, I, I, I harvested my parsley that I didn't rinse it off. Uh, you don't have to with parsley because parsley has these uh, detoxifying agents that grow within it. So any kind of like foreign dirt and bacteria, you know, it, 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 it just cleans itself. It rejects it at a subatomic uh, particular, particulatal level. So uh, don't worry about it. It's all good. You can trust me. I'm a genius when it comes to parsley. <laughs> so that's it.